2014. CCM, in partnership with Women in Film, celebrates women in their 100 years of movie making with Trailblazing Women, behind the movies ahead of their time. Tuesdays and Thursdays in October, beginning at 8 p.m. on TCM. Let's movie. Hey everybody, welcome to TCM, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. We begin the afternoon in the dark, cynical, mysterious world of film noir with a movie from one of the pioneering directors of the genre, Fritz Lang. Lang's most significant movies came early in his career while working in Germany. He demonstrated his mastery of German expressionism in a couple of landmark films, the thriller M and the sci-fi classic Metropolis. But after leaving Germany for Hollywood, Lang made a series of crime thrillers in the 40s and 50s with the gritty realism and the obsessive, threatening themes that came to define the film noir style, including The Woman in the Window, The Big Heat, While the City Sleeps, and the movie we have coming up next. It's from Warner Brothers in 1953, The Blue Gardenia. And Baxter stars as a young woman who agrees to go out with a playboy after learning her fiance is dumping her for another woman. Her lascivious date, played by Raymond Burr, plies her with wine, but not enough to stop her from fending off his advances. It was enough wine, however, to cause her to pass out. After fleeing his apartment the next morning with little recollection of what happened, she learns he's been murdered and she can't help but suspect herself. The movie also features Richard Conti, Ann Southern, and George Reeves, star of the Superman TV series. And Nat King Cole puts in an appearance as himself singing the title song. The script is based on a novel by Vera Caspary, who wrote another terrific murder mystery adapted for the big screen, Laura. Caspary was a good friend of director Fritz Lang, and their styles were a good match given Lang's film noir sensibilities. From 1953, here's The Blue Gardenia. <laughs> 